Dr. Owusu or Chalk. It's Dr. O for the 804. As the premier knee and hip shoulder sports surgeon, Virginia, I would like to remind you that health equals power. Sports build and uplift communities. Nothing else can. The mission of sports medicine is to keep athletes of all ages and levels at the top of their game. Dr. O is located at Ortho, Virginia, Schrader Road, office location. Appointments can be scheduled online at orthovirginia.com or by calling 804-939-6688. You can follow Dr. O on Instagram at Dr. O underscore for the 804 and uplifting educational content about sports health. I'm Coach Rick Stockel. I am co-owner of Newman and Dunn Real Estate here in Central Virginia, as well as I am a high school boys basketball coach at Monacan High School. I've sold over 1,300 homes here in Central Virginia, and I would love to work with you and your family in your home buying needs. Uh, I am a proud primary sponsor of Ballin' in Virginia, and I hope you enjoy this show. Yeah, man, I appreciate Rick Stocker for sponsoring the show today. He's a great guy, great coach. Great realtor here in Virginia. Make sure you give him a call or check out his website at, over at rickstocker.com if you're looking for any homes in Virginia. Thanks again, and let's get into this episode. Welcome to another episode of Ballin' in VA. Everybody, everybody, I got today what everybody want to see. I got the rookie of the year, Miss hmm. Savannah Dawson. I got the player of the year in Division Six, Region Player of the Year, all that. Miss Nyla Wilson, thousand point score. And I got Muhammad Wilson and Keith Dawson. Dawson yes. So we want to make sure that I correct that. And I want to say, what's up, y'all? What up? The intro part is always hard for me. I, everybody know that I say it on every episode. But before I start, I got to make sure that y'all subscribe, like, and comment. Please share this all around. The bills don't get paid in here. And we all can't see top talent like this on this podcast because ain't nobody else doing it. But I definitely need y'all support. So I appreciate all that y'all can. You know, y'all go to my Patreon. Y'all can just, you know, just hit us up and we'll give you all the information. DM me for all the info. So what's up, everybody? Uh, now, I'm going to say, so I told me to turn up. I'm going to turn the fuck up. Here we right go. There you go. First of all, I went around after, you know, I found out who y'all were. Um, got that phone call last summer from uh, one of the Hampton High School coaches and asked me how in the hell I let, well, not me per se, that Richmond 804 let y'all go to Boo Williams. And I was like, well, who are you talking about? They said, Nala Savannah. I said, who? This was last August. So I said, I heard of the young girls, but I don't know who they are. So let me find out who they are. So, of course, I made all these phone calls and everybody <clears throat> started doing that stuff like this. But, and I, and I, I said, I'm going to come to some games. Did not come to any games until the Thomas Dale Glen Allen game. And, of course, I was satisfied by what I saw, but I was following. But I am upset with y'all. Now, I don't know if I need to be upset with the coach or I need to be upset with y'all. What the hell happened in that Manchester game? I'm going to just start off right there since y'all were turning it up. There what the go. hell happened? Because right I got there told everybody. And I am, I can show y'all my phone. Right. Man, I thought you said Thomas Dale was going to win the state. I thought so, too. <laughs> so let's get right into it. I ain't going to even cut to the point. What the hell happened? That's right. Who want to start? All right. I don't need y'all to be shy. I need y'all to give it to me raw. Okay, so basically, in the first half, we had it came out strong, and we was doing everything we were supposed to do, but I don't okay. know what happened in the second half. Like, we was just, we wasn't, we didn't bring the same momentum that we did in the first half, and then Manchester is a good team, so they came with the fire, and we wasn't coming with it. For y'all to be up, what, 26 to 12, right? Yeah. How in the world did they score 40 points hmm. in the second half? Some, I, I need a better answer than that. I had everybody hitting my phone up, and they calling me, yeah, man, you you said it. Yes, I knew what I said. I know what these girls is. Hmm. I know what I saw. Y'all seen them. Hmm. Okay, Jeez. Nala. Right. I, I, I need an answer. Savannah gave her a response. Right, so in the second half, I feel like we came out more laid back, like way too laid back as we should, and they just took advantage and went on a run, a big run at that. Hmm. That That's way. your answer? That's your final answer? <laughs> now, I can go to the dads. I know the dads are going to turn up. Keith, you, what, you, what you thought? 
I mean, it was an all around. Good, 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 good. It, it was an all around effort with it, just like it's an all around effort to win the game. Mm-hmm. I mean, there was coaching mishaps at, in the second half, just as well as, as there was player mishaps. Mm-hmm. Fourteen point lead, you can't you can't blow that. Mm-hmm. And I think it reached a point in every game where a coach going to coach, but when you're on that floor, you got to do your part. Right. And that's a learning curve for for our girls. Mm -hmm. They know now. Mm -hmm. They had to go through it. Right. That fourteen point lead game before the states. Right. You got the you got you got the lead. Mm Mhm. You know. So, I mean, things happen. You know, it's any given game on that day. And Manchester, as they was being weak with it, they they took advantage of it. Did y'all go into that game knowing that y'all had beat them the past two seasons? Did y'all just feel like the job was going to beat them again? Honestly, y'all can say it. They'll watch it. They'll get to them. Did we feel like we was going to win? Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, I know you because you. I know what you told me that y'all was going to be Glen Island by twenty, and I'll be about nineteen. So I already know that. But so that halftime, y'all come out and y'all just came out flat. Mm-hmm. What did the coach say? Did she? Did assistant coaches or anybody just like come on, y'all? It's like because I don't want because it's easy to point directly to the coach, but the players have to have some type of responsibility into that as well. And I ain't trying to put y'all on the spot, but I'm pissed off. Right. <laughs> I'm pissed because I because they was at my throat. But I can handle it, but they were like, I thought you said blah blah blah. Yeah, I said it. I owned it. Uh, you know, but I say this, and Muhammad, I'm gonna get to you because I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> And I say this, and I told your dad, Megan, the 2014, 2013, 2014 Monacan Chiefs, they had one of the best teams around here. They had a young Megan Walker, ninth grader, and they had an upperclassman, which is Michaela Parsons. They should have won. They was up 26 on Woodrow Wilson. I don't know what that school is now that's seven by seven. They lost, they lost the game. They should have won four straight. So I give you guys a pass for that because you're young and I understand that. This happened next year. I'm not going to be as nice. I'm going to come off the stands and I'm going to act a damn fool. <laughs> I'm letting y'all know right now. So you go out and expect that. So I, I know I follow the game. I follow the history. But, Muhammad, what you got to say, man? I, just, you know, give me your take on what you thought. I mean, basketball, sports, period. It's a game of life. Mm-hmm. We got – if you're looking at the tournament right now, mm-hmm. there's a reason why it's called March Madness. Right. You got 15 knocking off two C's and all the time. UVA gone, and it's like, what happened, right? Mm-hmm. At the half, I sent Sage down there to tell y'all. What did I say? He came to you and told you at halftime. Y'all up 16. Oh. What did he what did I what did he say? What was the message? He said, don't let up, and right now it's zero to zero. Mm-hmm. That's it. If you come out that locker room knowing that, okay, that was cute. We went up 14 points in the first half. But guess what? Now it starts all over. We got a whole nother half to play. Mm-hmm. He come out with a different approach, and the rest is may be a little different. The history is different. But at the end of the day, like he just said, it's a good – Learning lesson, yeah. Because uh, they ran through like two boxes of Kleenex by themselves, and uh, it ought to hurt. Yeah, we're gonna show it won't be the same result next season. Yeah, it, it should hurt. Yeah, because that way that you know that when you come back next year, it's like no matter who's in front of you. I mean, that's just the way it is. Most champions who you know they go through. Well, you guys haven't won the champ. Y'all won a regional championship, right? But most state champions, if like the year before, they always go through that struggle. And I've seen that. I've seen it with my son's team. At one of the greatest teams in this decade, well, this part of the 2017 Trinity Episcopal. We should have won 2016, and we came back and we took everybody next to next year. Mm. We said we got to get rid of them seniors, and we blew everybody out. Paul the six, everybody. Name them, we beat them. Finished 11th in the country. So it it happens so i'm just kind of messing with y'all since y'all told me to turn up so that's right but um shout out to manchester shout out to madison for winning but um 
Yeah, they was talking about me on the other networks. So I just want to let y'all know y'all let me down. That's <laughs> 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 right. with y'all. But let's talk about the season. Um, let's reflect on the season. Um, y'all won a regional championship, which was great. Um, I don't even know if y'all even do district championships anymore. I don't even know what that is. But talk about y'all season. Um, how y'all felt like as a whole that y'all accomplished the goals that y'all actually set up besides not winning the state championship, individual goals, team goals? Yeah, I feel like as a team, uh, we got better throughout the whole season, and we had a lot, a lot of ups and downs throughout the season. Mm-hmm. Savannah? Um, I feel the same way. We had a lot of ups and downs, but we came through it. And we just grew as a team in general. Mm -hmm. So you know that you got people here in Richmond, man, calling y'all the next dynamic duo. Hmm. Um, hey, I mean, what can I? I mean, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you can ball, you can ball. You got Nyla scoring a thousand points in two years. I mean, you know, like in Savannah, I'm hearing people seven five seven people sitting up here say, "Man, I think she better than the other one." I'm sitting up here like, "Listen, hey, man, yeah, it's good to have that problem a one A one B." But um, I'm hearing that you went up to New York, um, Savannah, and, and and had a great weekend. Hmm. Um, they said you kind of just you know, so you want to talk about that? You talking about records? Yeah, rock oh. apart. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't be uh, shy. I'm not being shy. All right, at Ruckers, mm-hmm. I was, I was kind of nervous at first. Okay, of course, because they were older, and I'm only, well, I was what 14 at the time. Okay, but I had pushed through it. I had to realize what I could do and what I was going against, and I just did what I had to do. Oh, you being modest. <laughs> That's all you did. So yeah. how did it get to me? They was like, man, you you was doing your thing up there. Yeah. See. Angelica, what? Yo. Okay, we could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. No, we 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 could do that. But um, but as far let's go back to the season. Um, talk about some of these tough games y'all had. Y'all had Glen Island. Y'all had Highland Springs. A uh, couple of games against Laney Grant. Um, how many times y'all played uh, Laney this year? Or did y'all, y'all didn't play Laney no, at all? I didn't play Laney just last year. Oh, last year. And y'all won, right? Yeah, regional uh, championship. Okay. Okay, we, we'll get into that because I'm not going to dive into that right now. That's, that's a whole it's different subject. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want to dive into that right now? There ain't no such thing as too early. Okay, well, let's talk oh, about that. Okay, since we're going in that. Okay, Laney Grant. We had Wade Fleming here not too long ago um, with V8 Havoc. And he mentioned something about um, Nala, um, Nala being a better overall player. He had Nala one. He had, I think he had Sin- think Sinai number two. I think he had you number three. And Laney was kind of down the line. And he said that he remember when she used to dribble the basketball. Well, she couldn't dribble the basketball or something like that. And I got a message from Laney saying that she, felt, she said that y'all had a stacked team. And they did end up coming around, I guess, beat y'all at some point or something like that. But she was giving props to y'all, but she didn't like what Coach Wade said. So we had that stuff. But so personally, my direct question to y'all is, how do y'all feel about Laney as a player and as a person? Um, As a person? I don't really know her as a person, but she okay. seemed like a good person. And player-wise, she's a solid player, but do I feel like she's better than me? Like, yeah. Is, no, she, is no. she better than you? I don't. No, I don't feel like that, no. Do you think she's better than you? Hmm? Do you think she's better than you? No. See, that's what y'all supposed to say. And this ain't no direct shot or anything like that. I, I would, if it was me, I would say the same thing. But that was a big thing. And I had the parents on saying something. And then one of the Trinity coaches said something. So I don't know what the big deal was. But it was about um, getting the recruitment because she is a UNC commi- uh, commit right now. Not signed, but just verbally committed. And I guess they had a, you know, made a big deal about that. But I don't know. It was so dope is at the end of the day, it's called a competition. Mm -hmm. So if either one of them sat here and said she's better, Mm -hmm. you lost. If Lainey came up here and you asked her, are you better than Nala or are you better than Savannah? I would hope she would say yes. I would hope she did because if she didn't, I'm going to look at her like she's crazy. Right? So at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with feeling that sometimes you got to give yourself false confidence i look down the court sometimes mm-hmm. knowing this guy's stat line and how good he was and i'm like on paper he got me mm-hmm. but we're in between these lines so oh no <laughs> you fool right 
Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, the dopest thing I saw last season, because we went to James River to play that championship game mm-hmm. against Laney, and uh, Nala had her hands full. You guys are on their turf mm-hmm. for the regional chip, and uh, you got to make it out of here alive. Well, we wound up handling business, and at the end of it, Laney sent Nala a text. Mm-hmm. And it was a congratulations and let's hook up and, you know, make each other better. That's dope. That's dope. Shout out to Laney for that. Shout out to Laney. Minus all the politics and all the extra shit. Yo, that's what it's about. And I think what Wade was saying was because Laney's a UNC committee, Laney Grant, uh, 2025, and he was just saying that how did she get a – UNC offer, and these two girls are from the consensus is they're better. Mm-hmm. And if you want my opinion, if you want me to ask me that, I do too. Okay. I think that now, nah, if you want to say both of them, mm-hmm. I like them both. Mm-hmm. If you want to say individually, I think she's a better scorer. I think they're both better defenders. I- I would have to ask you why you think that. Oh well, you put me on the spot. I got to wait <laughs> this- for one. For one, I've seen Laney, I've seen Laney play, and Laney. Let's say what game I saw her play against Manchester. And I saw her play against Bird. The one glaring thing that I see that she doesn't do as well as these two girls, she don't play defense as well as these two girls. Okay, these girls are disruptors. Hmm. They are natural scorers. She's not as athletic at all, and she doesn't. She she doesn't have as much as lateral quickness as I would like for her to have, but let's just say that, hmm, how can I say it? Can't really put it out there. That just, let's leave it as that. Okay. Let's just leave it so as that. So pretty much more athletic, mm-hmm. on the defensive, defensive end, end, they got the edge. Mm-hmm. Because I'll be honest with you, I was impressed. She was Can Laney score? Hell yeah. She's a scorer. She's a heady. More important than her scoring ability, mm-hmm. she's a heady player. Mm-hmm. See, basketball the, IQ. IQ is what got me with her. Mm-hmm. You know. She 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 can she she has the package. Absolutely. But for me, if I had to pick between, let's say if I had to just say, since we're gonna just do Nala, since Nala and her in the same class, mm-hmm. and I was gonna do 25 or 26, and I'm, you know, I'm not trying to put you aside, Savannah. She plays defense. Mm-hmm. That's a big glaring. Absolutely. That, that, that sticks out. Am I wrong by saying that? Is anybody in this room would disagree with me by saying that? Well, I'll tell you, at the end of the day, that's where it starts with me. Right. And that's where, you know. And it's not to say that Laney don't play defense. She's a better defender. Gotcha. Am, am I wrong? Okay. I can live with that. I respect it. Okay. Respect and I'm not saying this because y'all here. That's just... just. Oh, nah, well, we ain't the only ones here. Shit. We got the whole world watching right now. So oh, yeah. Oh, and, and if they don't like what I say, y'all can DM say. me. Let me look into the camera. <laughs> I am i don't run from the smoke, okay? So if anybody got a problem with the hell I just said, y'all can just call at me. Y'all know where to find me. DM me. Ballin <laughs> underscore VA 804. Lee Mary on Facebook and on... Yeah. You know, it's my opinion. But that's what it is. I love Laney. I do. Yeah, yeah. I do. But when I saw this young lady right here, when they were talking about the same class, mm-hmm. I was like, man, you crazy. Mm-hmm. And I'm watching this young lady, the way she run a team, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, I take them both. Dope. Okay? Dope. So that's just me. So, but it's no disrespect to Laney. To, to this way. When you have a 1A, 1B, and 1C, that's a great damn problem yeah, to have. Absolutely. So if anybody says that, okay, well, how did you put... Uh, Savannah and, and Nala are ahead of her. That's my damn opinion. If you don't like it, so be it. Right. Because we know on the other side of it, the people that defended her, right. they all oh, were well, late. That's fine. Some people got Sanai Green. Right, right. That's another name that's been Right. You know what I'm saying? So it, it depends. So I got a they don't like for Nala, though. Huh? I got a question for Nala on this same topic because you go to her hometown mm-hmm. and you beat her. And you beat her on her, on her court. And then she gets. The uh, player of the year. What did, how did that make you feel? Disrespected. But it's just politics, and I got it this year, but I still feel like I should have got it back to back. Yeah, you went to her floor, you beat her, but you know it, it happens. And I hope and VHSL, 
I did it yesterday. I'm going to do it again. Y'all need to get it right. I don't know how in the world you got two teams that's in Chesterfield that don't play each other. I don't even know. That don't even make any sense. That makes no sense. What's two teams? James River and Manchester. I mean, y'all didn't play them this year, right? No. Are they in? Thomas Dale. Are they in our district? It don't matter. They in the same they town. I see what you're saying. They in the same town. You right, in, right. One school right. in Chesterfield, right around the street, you're right. and the other on the other side in Chester. How in the world Somebody you got Somebody ducking the smoke. That's what the problem is. Well, I can't say that it's James River, so I'm not going to put it on them. Oh, well, no. Nah, I ain't saying who it is, but I tell you what, that's what's killing the crop, too. Yes. Right, that's the VHL problem. That's not a James River problem. That's not a Thomas Dale problem. That's I don't know how they, if you and the two teams that's in the same area, that's on the VHSL. And if I'm wrong, or the ADs, how do you got, if you got all this talent, how do you not play each other? You got right. the best tandem sitting right here. You got Ashe Jackson and you got uh, Laney Grant over there. You tell me that y'all can't put that game together? It's politics, man. Mm -hmm. It's just like boxing when you don't want to take an L. So, so you duck wreck. So who are you saying is ducking red? I'm just whoever. Uh, just, just whoever setting it up. There's no reason for the ads. Are, the ads have to do that, right? It, so that's who's ducking the wreck. They want an 18 to be able to make it to, to get a band on the wall instead of everybody playing against each other. Well, guess not to have these conversations if right. it's set up right. Well, put guess what? Well, guess what? Out of the three Chesterfield schools, ain't none of them put a band up this year besides the regional championship. Mm -hmm. So mm. it didn't work. Right. Let's let's just be honest. But that's the root of it, I believe. Right. James River, since Lane had been there the last two years, they haven't gotten it. They got two. That's the root of it, I mm. think. There's no reason for these teams to be this close and we not putting the best players on the floor against I mean, each other. And no disrespect to Mia and Rain over there. You know, and Coach Wright, they're doing an excellent job out there. But come on, y'all. We, we got to get this right. You got the, I mean, the same thing with 2016 when you had Highland Springs and Monica and the best two teams. You got the number one basketball player in this country, and y'all don't play each other? Mm. That makes no sense. No sense. That. that makes no sense. How do you really define the but, 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 but this is, but hold on, this is the thing. And I'm, I'm going to do this, and, they, and, I, and I called them out. Hollis Springs had a tournament in 2017. Well, 2015, Hollis Springs played Monikin in the Times' batch, beat them by 30. Mm. Yeah. Megan, number one player in the country. Then you go back to 2017. They had a tournament at Hollis Springs. Monikin was in it. Monikin played a suit in, Chester, in, in Charlottesville. How do you not play each other? <laughs> Why is everybody a duck and wreck? <laughs> so this ain't just start yesterday. No, they just ain't ah. start. So that's what I'm just saying. So that's why I'm trying to educate the girls and educate everybody on just, I, I do follow that. So, you know, but we got to do a better job because we got all this talent. We got a lot of good talent for class of 25, 26, 27. So come on, y'all. We got to do better. Mm. We got to do better. That's not making a 757, 703, 804 thing. We got talent right here that should be playing against each other. That's just not way to AAU. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, but... um. Go on back. Let's get back on track here. So we got, um, how's y'all recruiting going? Um, it's slow, but it's going. It's a, pro it's a working process. See, here's another problem. How is it slow? Now, I'm not saying nothing against you, but how is it slow? Now, these girls, I I'm sitting here with the best duo in the state right now, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to find out, again, in the words of Coach Wade, you got one girl who's already committed to UNC mm -hmm. that's in the same class as you, what offers do you have right now on the table, if you don't mind me asking? U of R, JMU. I ain't no friend. you. I ain't, I ain't coming. Oh, George, George Washington. Washington. Savannah, what you got? Um, JMU and Common State. So what do we have to do in order to get more recruitment coming in? Do what do y'all think as far as, I'm asking the dads, what do y'all think? We got to we gotta expose our own kids, man, mm -hmm. and promote our own, market our own kids, man. And um, like one thing Wade was saying as far as the funding, just with getting to these elite camps, mm -hmm. getting them in front of the right the right eyes, we got to travel ourselves and mm -hmm. go to these elite camps. You know, um, sadly, the, 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 the schedule, the season schedule is too soft. Mm-hmm. You, yep. You're not getting no. You're not getting no recognition like that. Most time you're gonna get your recognition is AAU. And Sheen and my man Sheen Johnson I, just walked in. We talked about that yesterday. What's up, Sheen? What's going on, bro? Yeah, we we talked had that same conversation, and it's like the the, the schedule is just too soft. 
And then it's like, and it, like Wade was saying, and I think they misunderstood what Wade was saying. Was like, look, some people are more influential than others, and they put the work in to do X, Y, and Z. So I understood what he was saying. It was no direct shot mm. at nobody, but I think that just got you know misconstrued in what he was trying to say. So if that's what it has to take in order to get you know these girls, because right now they hooping, right. Thousand points in two years, two regional championships. Come mm -hmm. on, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's, what's going on? Y'all playing for Boo this year, right? Yeah. When did Boo Williams come up to Richmond to drive to see anybody? That's a fact. That was major that night. <laughs> that hey, was major. Who was that against? Glen Allen. Allen. That was the Glen Allen game. That yeah. Was a good show. And shout out to Boo for coming out. And, shout you know, to, to your who? <laughs> to your plug. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I ain't messing with that, man. She said she don't want to talk about it. We can talk about it. But, um, but no, man, can we talk about that mysterious letter that we got? Or you don't want to talk about that? Who don't want to talk about it? I'm still looking for the small. <laughs> Whoever it is, we're the camera. Yeah, this this the camera. The camera. Like, one going to be on you. Yo, let's, let's go. All I ask. <laughs> you know my number. Whoever you are, you got the letter? I need, I need an answer. Right, my phone's over there, so I can't do that. And so we, we to sum it up, answer. you can't stop it. Okay, you can't stop you what? Ain't gonna, ain't gonna be able to stop us. Oh well, yeah, of course. Period. But no I'm, matter what you try, there's two God. You want me to read it? No, nah, I'm gonna sum it up. I like I like to sleep comfortably. At okay. the end of the day, I don't need the letter. I I ain't sleep since. Oh. I mean, you got you following my kid home. I mean, at the end of the day, I appreciate the fact that it's basketball it could be worse, mm -hmm. but one thing leads to another, mm -hmm. you know? So you don't follow a kid home mm -hmm. just to see if she lives in a district of a school so that if you got to play this school, now you got something against her to say, okay, well, she don't live in a district. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay, she can't play, so it makes it easier for me to win a championship or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. I just didn't. I, it just didn't sit well with me. You following my kid? Mm -hmm. um, Why do you think that is? Oh, I mean, I'm hoping it was just because they wanted to win so bad. If you whoever they are, whoever I'm, it's the mysterious letter. Mm -hmm. I mean, it got it. It made it to all the ads and all of the principals in the district, and I'm like, it's almost like a bittersweet. Hey, you're doing something good for them to go this hard at you but in the end of the day like all right now that's over the line mm -hmm. you know as a parent as a father so i i would just know i want to know who it is you know but at the end of the day prayfully everything everything is good as far as safety you mm -hmm. know but i just try to let nala know that i'm of course do everything in my power to make sure she's protected mm -hmm. um like I said, you, the hard work is paying off. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it shows in mysterious ways. Hashtag that letter. You know, and that don't mean stop doing what you're doing. I told you, stay down till it's time to come up. You know, I want to even go back a little further when we were just talking about the uh, recruiting part. Mm -hmm. um, I actually like the fact that she's not being heavily recruited yet. Why is that? You got, you know, that light, it gets brighter. With each, each recruit, uh, the distraction becomes that much stronger. Uh, you just want to keep that grind, you know. Just like Wade said about Laney, Nala couldn't dribble and chew gum. Mm -hmm. Two left feet when mm -hmm. she was coming through the ranks. Mm -hmm. But the hard work, the dedication, the consistency, the rest is history, right? It got her to where she at. You're right. Yeah. So at the end of the day, yeah, keep grinding. You know, it's it's paying off, and don't worry about the accolades and all of the scouts. That's if it's for you, it's gonna come. But at the end of the day, you can only do your part, right? You just do your part. Everything else falls in line. You know, so. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to make it, you know, and, and not to, and again, to the Grant family or anybody that wants to, you know, try to make it seem like that it's a us against them type of thing. Um, it's not that. I've seen Laney work. I've seen her in a camp against Caleb Love and 
at Mondo's camp against Caleb Love and R.J. Davis and King. And that girl can go. I've Close. seen her wild work, you know. And so, again, I know what you're saying is like, look, if she if, if she's the standard mm-hmm. and she got that, then I want my girls to say, okay, well, if she got that, then y'all got to work as hard is what she's doing, correct? That's what Absolutely. you're saying, right? That's all we're saying. That's what it's about. So I don't want nobody to twist this and come on my page and like a crazy because I'm going to run your ass off there. Y'all <laughs> do that shit to me. So I'm just going to just... It's, it's just a competition. It yeah, yeah, but no, I'm just saying, but no, but like I said, I, I told Laney, I offered the Grant family to come on mm-hmm. if they wanted to have a piece and everything because I I, I I love Laney. I, I fuck with her. She go hard, right, but right. I don't like the people try to pit the kids against each other because nah. it's not really like that. I told All you these girls can go, but but you got to respect people's opinion. If somebody say that somebody's better than somebody else, That's it's it. just an opinion. That's it. That's it. Where do we get to the point where we can't even voice our opinions? Mm-hmm. Like, it's just and it won't. The, it ain't the kids. That's and that's the biggest problem. It's right? not the kids. It's never the kids. Mm-mm. No. So you know, everybody trying to come to people's defense and stuff like that. But I didn't. I understood what Wade was saying, but it, it wasn't. You know, like they try to make it out to be. So I want to say that. But like I said, if y'all got a problem with me, so be it. I mean, I'm sleep good at night. Sorry. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> you know. But yeah. But um, let's go back. Um, young ladies, um, who put the ball in your hands? Where it started as far as who, what players that y'all like when y'all saw? Is it a male player, female player? Who do y'all, what basketball players y'all analyze, I should say? Kyrie. Oh, you like Kyrie? Yeah. Why Kyrie? Uh, he's not, I mean, he's, his height and the way he gets to his spots and how crafty he is as a player. Savannah? It was always Kyrie and Allen Iverson for me. That's right. Tough. That's tough. That's that says a lot, actually. That says a lot. Well, hopefully, like I said, you get one of them rings here in the state, you know, Mm. you know, you could be right there beside AI. Absolutely. You know. But who put the ball in your hands? With the daddies, the bombs, uncles, cousins? My dad. Keith? She said you put the ball in the hands. Oh yeah, man. It's it's ironic how that's how I know. That's why I say it's God given. It, it no matter what you try to do to stop this, mm-hmm. the bond between them is too genuine. We too prayed up. I came up as an athlete, so anybody know me would expect my kids to play. Mm-hmm. But that was my princess, yo. Girly girl princess. I ain't think about no ball or no in the dirt, none of that. Mm-hmm. Was at work one day. I was letting her play on the playground. I was shooting the rock, just shooting. She came over there, shot the ball. Mm-hmm. Form was just like, woo. Okay, I let it be. Mm-hmm. Another week or two go by, she came back asking to play again. Shot the joint. I was like, yo. So I had to call her mom. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, baby girl got a little, like, is it I vibe? You know what I'm saying? And she was just like, you know, I don't know. You know, then we was around the projects again. Kids playing. She stopped playing. Mm-hmm. And I just saw it. And she just gravitated to it. And I just asked her, you know, like, you really want to, if you really want to do this, I can really get you right. And we just start two ball dribbling, no shooting, no layups, two ball dribbling, just dribbling. That's why when you watch her play, like my daughter, she she's the craftiest misdirectional play point guard in the area, you know. And she getting overlooked a little bit, but that's cool too. That's cool. And it's it's timing is everything. Timing is everything. Oh, it's gonna come. Her she she has a gift. I watch. I was at the Gainesville game. And the passes that you be making, she's naturally gifted. You talk about the the ball handling, but the passes like I'm trying to figure out how in the world she be making some of the passes like because it's levels to it. We went from dribbling, we went to passing, then we went to layups. Everybody then we can't went to do shooting. That. She has a gift. Like mm-hmm. you know, people like like Nala. She's a scorer. She can go. Vanna can score, but. I think her best, to me, her best ability is, you know, her passing. Mm-hmm. What, would you say that? Kyrie ain't known for his passing. Neither is Allen Iverson. So you had to kind of oh, watch yeah. that from somebody. No disrespect. They can do it. <laughs> yeah. But come on, you got to give us a little bit more of that. Mm. Who else you been watching? Uh, 
Yeah, Chris Paul. Okay. All right. Now, now we, we cooking. Okay. Yeah. Now, now we can have a conversation. Okay. I'm sitting up here like, you going to sit there and tell me that you passed like Allen Alves and Kyrie? No. Two guys who don't want to pass the ball? No, I mean like how crafty they were. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They are very crafty. And another thing, too, that I think just like something that's natural with my daughter, she's been this way since she was small. Mm -hmm. She will always just like, she'll be doing her thing, but she always like looking up. Like this, like seeing who watching her and all of that. And I think, I honestly think that comes into play with how she looks. Cause she could see she's been looking out her peripheral since four or five years old. That was just a thing that she do. I'm like, yo, why you, what you self conscious or something? I'm like, nah, I'm just watching. You know, you say be on point. I'm just watching. I'm like, all right. And I think that when she come down, that's what she see. Is that about Savannah? Huh? Huh? Oh. That's <laughs> all you want to tell us about? <laughs> no, that's what. They you, you on the spot. Like you a drug dealer or something for? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's just something I always did. And it helped me when, like, looking looking for passes and stuff like that. And see it faster. I'm, I'm going to say something. And it's probably going to maybe ruffle the feathers, but I hope it don't. But I'm being very honest with what I'm about to say. I, I've been watching this game since 1983. And... You know, we can go back to Marsha Walker and Ronnie Wade. That's kind of for your time. I have never, these two young ladies right here, you guys are being talked about by the best duo that I've seen in this state. Now, I've seen some, and, and, and 804, don't hate me for this. Right now, we're watching the female version of Allen Iverson and Tony Rutland. Wow. Major. And, and, my, and she... I, I know you've been around and seen some. Am, am I out of pocket for saying something like that? Because I'm telling you, mm -hmm. these girls can go. And I'm telling you. And if you don't know who they are, Google them. Mm -hmm. Because AI was the score. Rutland was the point. But I'm going to tell you right now. When Rutland was smooth with that thing and passed that ball, uh, like he told me on my podcast, if I can give you 40, he said, Chuck can give you 40, but I can give you 42. Uh, <laughs> and that's what I'm seeing. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. So I'm not trying to put any pressure on you, but we have not talked about duos. We talked about individual players. We talked about Megan Walkers. We got Bree Justices. We got, I mean, I can go on and on. So much, so many girls that came through this. If I'm forgetting this about it right now, just for, forgive me. But we have so many players that came out of this area. Cosby, you know, Highland Springs. I just say that we just had some time. But we have never in a long time can – can you think of anybody who we've seen as a duo in the last couple of years? I mean, the last 10, 20 years as a duo. We talked about players, but as a duo. Talk about a girl on the girls' level. Not that guys, but the girls. I mean, truth be told, I started really paying attention to the girls' level. Probably when Sierra's like in the fourth grade. But since then, you know, it's, it's, it's primarily boys. So. Yeah, it's, it's primarily always been boys. But girls, I haven't, I'm just being honest. So let me ask y'all, why is this duo, this bond, so strong? And that was my next question. Wow. It's been like this since we were about seven, playing rec ball. Mm -hmm. And we always just had that connection on the floor. We literally only used to pass it to each other. That was, hey, it's the truth. We only used to pass the ball to each other. It was bad. But. So y'all just like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and we won. Yeah. And y'all won. Almost every so the game. the formula has worked, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. We won undefeated, like, one, like what, two seasons? I think we're about, like, four championships. Yeah. Y'all, and this was at, in middle school, too? Y'all played at Carver? No, oh, this was in uh, elementary. At elementary. Yeah. What middle school y'all went to? I went to Carver. You went to Carver? I went to Davis for one year. Then I had a transfer to Matoka. Oh, God. <laughs> All right now. Yeah. All right now. Uh, I have a choice. <laughs> no, no, I can't even talk. My son went to Providence, so that ain't mm -hmm. ain't much. Y'all know about Providence, so <laughs> that was saying. But wow, but but that that that's just mm, okay. Well, the formula has worked because y'all got two regional championships. So let's just say that couple of player of the years. But what is next? For the Thomas Dale girls basketball team, Nyla Wilson, well, Savannah Dawson. It, it what is worked next? up until a certain point. Tell them seniors about to whip y'all asses. Let's talk about it then. Come on. Okay. Wait, yeah. What? Let's yeah. talk about that. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Them seniors wasn't too fond Listen, about that. Uh, them you seniors was, it to look, look oh. they, they would tell you, y'all was doing these dances. <laughs> y'all had everything. Y'all was 
I mean, y'all was getting it right. in. Yeah. I'm on there posting it, Joe. <laughs> People mad at me. I was like, hey, those girls can go. <laughs> and so I, feel, I was like, yeah, they lost. I was like, mm. and? Uh. Oh, I took a lot of heat. Okay. I'm going back to that. I took a lot of heat, but I, I can take that. But it's cool. It's cool. Tell them how your My, seniors felt, though, about that. Yeah, those seniors should be pissed with y'all right now. <laughs> Because, and the reason why I'm saying it, and I don't know what they're saying is because I know it's a collective team. But when you say Thomas Dale, who are they saying? Mm. Let's call it what it is. Mm-hmm. Nala Savannah. Nala Savannah. Yeah, there you go. That's what the phone call I got when I was sitting right there in August. Mm. And, and like I tell them all the time, like, we don't have to be apologetic about it. Mm. Like, they're going to play team ball, but we right. got skin in the game. Right. And too much work. Right. Too much sweat. Too much tears. Too mm-hmm. much. We don't have to be apologetic about it. So You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. put in work, you put in work. If you're the best, you're the best. That's what they're saying right now. That's what I see. That's what I've been saying. So it's like, you know, you just got to you gotta get in the lab. You got you to gotta put the work in. I'm going to tell y'all how. how listen, I had an a interview with the governor that day. Mm. And I was ready to go home. And I had to work overnight. The Glen, the Glen Allen. The Glen Allen game. game. Right. Mm-hmm. Tim, what did I do, Tim? Went to the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, and y'all saw it. Y'all, yeah. y'all saw it. We, we already know that. But, you know, like I said, what is next? We want to know what's next. Next season. I mean, besides, you know, y'all summer coming up. We go back to y'all summer. But what is the expectations for next year? Because, like I said, them seniors, they gone. Mm. Back to back. Back to, to back. back. So, so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Let's slow down. Mm. So you're saying not only you're going to win a championship will be your junior and your sophomore year. You're saying it's going to be for your senior year and your junior year as well. That's what she's saying. Yes. You know this, people are going to be playing this, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to put that much pressure on yourself to do that? Yes. Is it pressure? Do you yeah. feel like it's pressure? Pressure just means you expected of something. So I'm expected of myself to get back to back. Because yeah. you know that people going to see this and, you know, they're going to be like, oh, oh, whatever, whatever. You know how it would go. Savannah, what you got to say? You going you gonna to back her up or you just going to just, just sit there and not say nothing? Oh, I agree with her 100%. Mm. I'm ready to get that ring. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. All three. Mm. All three. Yeah, not two, three. Hey. Oh, we got one more year. Back Listen, to back to back to back. The last time this has been done since 2017, mm-hmm. Megan did it. Mm-hmm. Megan closed. Mm-hmm. The last senior season, she was 30 and 0. Mm-hmm. Number two ranking in the country uh, as far as team wise. So that's the last time a three peat has been done. Sophomore, junior, senior year. Mm-hmm. So for you, it won't be for two. She's saying three. Mm-hmm. Them big shoes to fill. Man, all it is is work, man. Cosby has done it. I mean, I think Cosby won, what, two? But three, Pete, yeah. Well, <laughs> we we, we going we to leave it as that. This summer, y'all running with Boo Williams. Yeah. Um, where are some of the tournaments that y'all going to play? Y'all got your schedule yet? Yeah. We do Nike okay. Nationals. We go to Georgia, I think Alabama, New Orleans. Chicago. 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 That's, Chicago. That's national here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what what is the expectation? What do you what are y'all plan on to hoping to get out of this summer running with Boo? Rack up on those, uh, win Nike Nationals and just get exposed. And y'all on the same team, right? Yeah. Okay. Y'all playing what age group? Seventeen. Ooh. I'm have it no other way, my brother. <laughs> hey man, I, I love it. I mean, I, listen. <laughs> Listen, I, I just been trying to, you know, people been hearing me talk about these girls and, and, and just watching, you know, because I watch all the reels and the highlights and mm-hmm. a couple of games, man. And um, I told Tim, I was like, man, I'm, I'm getting a dynamic duo in here today. But um, but no, but um, I can't say what I was going to say something else, but I'm not going to say that. I, I'm not going to do that. You got to say it. No, no I cannot. This is balling no, in no, I cannot do that. That'd be disrespectful. <laughs> we ain't that is, that, no that is disrespect. That, I'm not going to do that because well, that, 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 no, that's putting him on the spot because I was going to say something. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I told you I'd give it up. 
Huh? It had already I mean, came out. Oh, so y'all, so y'all, so y'all yeah. it had already okay. came out. Okay. Listen, well, let's get PLS a mic. That's my man. TPLS. Hey, y'all want to get get him a chair? Get him yeah, a chair, man. Get on get him a in. Yeah, and get him a microphone. Because they they coming on next anyway. He but I'm just right saying. Now. But look, she he been trying to he been waiting for you to come on to get you on the mic now. We, so we held up a whole hour for you, dog. <laughs> look. It it's supposed to be about these girls, but he said we will bring them on it here. Is. So, so we will get your we gonna get your you know opinion of what you think of Nile and Savannah. So, yeah, we're gonna. But while we do that, y'all, I still think um, I'm gonna go back to what I said earlier. Please subscribe, like, comment, share this thing, man. This is what we do over here, and we need all the help we can get, man. You know. We need all the donations or whatever we can get over yeah. here, man. But we really appreciate that. We got my man, Rasheen Johnson, here from TPLS Academy. Um, I wish we could get him a chair. Um, I think there's one might be in that corner or something like that. Um, what's up, Sheen? How you doing, bro? What's going on? Is it on? Mm-hmm. Should be on. Yeah, it's going okay. On. What's going on? Look, y'all know you up next. I'm doing a double header today. Yeah, yeah. And this is the yeah. first time we actually had two different <laughs> sets go. at one time. That's yeah. big shit. Muhammad been like doing that, man. <laughs> Listen, man. These two young ladies right here, man. What do you think about these two young ladies right here? I mean, coach both of them. Um, I think, um, you know, Nala says something that's telling and something that I would live and die by. Like, she said her recruitment is slow. Mm -hmm. How is that, right? She mm -hmm. plays on the EYBL team mm -hmm. at Boo Williams, and Savannah does too. So that's the thing that I always say about AAU is so convoluted. Like, we all wait for only AAU just to get recruited. Mm -hmm. And that's just not the way. You know, um, guards, you know, anybody under six feet, that's probably average. Thank you, Tim. They come a dime a dozen. And I, and I you know, I say I tell that to my daughter. They come a dime a dozen. So, you know, with the competition that, you know, we play in high school, and we took some lumps in high school. And I think for what we do in high school, it's designed to develop the girls 100%. Mm -hmm. You know, if we was just to go out there just to try to win, um, we could probably run one or two plays just to try to get out there and win, but it's specifically about development and trying to get them girls to the next level. Um, you know, for her to say her recruitment is slow, and, and then y'all hit it on it, it's like, you know, the competition in high school. I mean, mm -hmm. just think about it. Rec ball, you have to pay, pass to each other. Mm. It's the same girls that's <laughs> in right, high school, up, right? The same thing. Yeah, they're scattered out. They're not playing basketball like you guys. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's the different level. And, and, and you can't change it, really. You can't. So mm -hmm. the only scary thing about it, like even when we're talking to kids about coming to our academy program, they're kind of afraid to leave that high school atmosphere. But... The bit and and they need to know this, and all girls need to know this. The business aspect of it says that you have to do that because you're different, right? Mm. You're different from your girls that's on Instagram. You're different from your girls that's doing TikToks. Mm. <laughs> you know, because who who works out three hours a day, five days a week? Not your friends. They'll meet up with you afterwards. They'll say, "Hey, girl, let's go to this game." Mm. But the next day, you can be at that game. You know, I gotta get up. I gotta go to practice. I gotta do this. So you gotta be built different. So that's the main thing when it comes to, you know, girls playing. I was just talking to Manny two days ago mm -hmm. and I was telling him about Tamani. I told him in the beginning of the year, I said, she need to play varsity. She need to forego her last year. You know, Virginia High School League, you could play only four years. Four years, right. I told him, he need, she need to play right now varsity because she's not gonna be there in t maybe two years. Right. I think she's a US Olympian talent, really. I really, wow. I really do think that. Wow, and, that's a lot. and Manny, all oh, and I tell him this. I said, you always talk about competition, but that you're going to be playing that same competition that probably is not going to um, challenge you. Mm -hmm. So when you're not challenged, you hit your ceiling fast, right? Okay. And then when you, and then when you get to AAU, politics. That you talk, you want to talk about politics? <laughs> you know, that's where it's at because it's a honeymoon period with AAU, right? So if you're young, if you're like playing on the 17 U team. All of a sudden, you might see a girl come from North Carolina, play your same position. Mm -hmm. 32 minutes, you may be playing eight minutes when you're used to playing 20 minutes. Like, how are you going to be able to cope with that? You know, is it better for me to play on a low, not even a lower level, a level where I can get out there and play? Mm -hmm. You know, because it's going to be a lot of girls that's going to be 24s that's trying to get scholarships that probably they don't have. 
So yeah. let me ask him a question. Hold on, let me ask him a question. Um, your high school season, do you get more, is it more excitement for you doing the high school season or doing AAU season? AAU. AAU. Why is that? Uh, there's more competition, you're traveling a lot more, and you're around more people. Do yeah. you do either uh, one of you get bored during the season at all? Will you say that, that your guys maybe hit a wall this season or something like that? Kind of like you have your highs and lows where AAU is constantly on the high because you're facing different talent all the time. Yeah, because we, we had like – in high school we had we were playing like bum teams, like back-to-back, -back, and then we played a good team, and we played mm -hmm. bum teams. Mm -hmm. But AAU, it's never like that. Let me ask y'all a question that probably ain't nobody gonna ever ask y'all, and I don't know if this is out of pocket. Did you look? Did you just go into the game? There's no that just overlooked any one particular team that you just like. And you don't have to call them out. You can just answer yes or no. That is like I don't want to play today. Like a high school team that you saw that you saw on the schedule. Was like man, I don't want to play them. It's like a waste of time. No, no okay. I don't care who it is, bro. Okay, no, I'm just asking them just just one of them questions. I had to they ask, love but. the game that much. Okay, well, no, because sometimes that yeah people have that, but it goes back to what he was saying. You know, you know the the, the seasons and stuff like yeah. that. So. Like you know, like you know, she just said like I you know AAU right. That's mm -hmm. where it's at. You know, so like and only and I sound like Coach Mike because he used to always do it. But with Jennifer, with what's Jennifer, up, Coach Mike? You know. Um, <laughs> and I said, man, stop talking about Jennifer. Now I do. I'm like, well, with Sierra, you know. So, <laughs> but Sierra played against 17 McDonald's All Americans, mm -hmm. you know, through her from eighth grade all the way up. And don't give too much because we know we got to save it for the next. Seven. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So, you know, and then just imagine you just have to wait only. It's not even a AAU season from March to July. If we just count the live periods, it's April, May. July, mm -hmm. two in July, four. You got four live periods where you're going to probably play the top competition. And then you go back to high school, you know, to kind of play that same competition. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's the thing. And the thing about it, these girls are blessed. They're ahead of <laughs> a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. But that's the reality of it. I've seen some really, really good girls. Mm -hmm. I, like I was telling man, I, I seen this eighth grader we played. is a North Carolina um, GBB. And my point guard, she was just like, man, what, what school is she going to? I looked at her, she in the eighth grade. What are you talking about? I mean, cut, I mean, physically, you you think she's like a junior or a senior. Mm -hmm. So that's the reality of it, you know, so. Right, let me ask y'all a question. I'm gonna throw a couple of names out there and I wanna see what y'all tell me to the girls and the, you know, the dads, if y'all wanna get in on it, I just go around, get, I'm gonna go each one of y'all, I'm gonna say one name, I'm going to go Savannah, Nala, Keith, and y'all just give me your opinion of that person. These are all female players. Okay. I'm going to start with Sanaa Green. What you think about Sanaa's game? I think Sanaa's a bucket. I haven't watched her enough, but from what I've seen, I think she's a bucket. What you think? She's certified. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> she's a combo big. Develop those guard skills, and that's not just to her, but because we're just talking about her. Mm -hmm. You ain't promised six 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 seven. Mm -hmm. So if you a six footer, don't let them stick you under that basket. Mm -hmm. And even if you under that basket, Charles Barkley, be able to get it. Develop them guard skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he hit on a um, point as far as developing guard school. But I told her dad when she was in the fifth grade, she's going to be an ESPN kid, you know. So every, like, every time I talk to her, I'm like, remember I told you? Like, yeah, you told me. That. You know, mm -hmm. so that's yeah. what she is. So yeah. um, The next one I'm going to do, I can't think of her dad, her first name, but y'all know her, Coco for Western Branch. What y'all think about her game? Um, you had to play them this year, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We played him at the scope. That's right. Yeah, that was a beat down too. That's right. No disrespect, but that's what it is. What do you think about her game? Uh, as far as in relation to you. I knew, I know okay. you will probably say that you're better than her, but what do you think about her game? I think she's tough. What was the good what was the best part of her game when you when you saw her? Um she was creating space and pulling up. She was shooting the ball a lot. Okay. No. She's quick and she's aggressive. Keith, you see yeah, Coco? I see, yeah, I seen Coco, yeah. 
uh, aggressive and um, determined. She got she, she got uh, she got to build her skill set up a little more, but she got a dog in her. Okay, definitely got a dog in her. She's another version of Nala. If you look at how her game is designed, mm -hmm. she can get to the basket. She has a mid range. I would only advise her to not fade on the mid range. Mm -hmm. Straight up and down. Hers versus Nala. Nala straight up and down, but she'll kick that foot out and fade. Mm -hmm. Don't throw your shot off. Straight up and down. And then we know everybody could throw up a three ball. But mm -hmm. Yeah, Coco, she's a good guard. She puts a lot of pressure on you on both ends as far as like going to the basket and on the defense end. Um, I think she's ranked like in the top 20 in the state in her class. Um, mm -hmm. She got off. I think she's got reached off of the Presbyterian. Um, I think she just need to work on a jump shot like a lot of kids, you know, and that'd be it. I'm going to do one more. Mia Wolf up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I ain't going to do the other three. I'm going to lead up to her long. She's mm -hmm. big, aggressive. She gets rebounds. She just does everything she's supposed to do and more. She's a good person on and off the court. and That's your buddy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mia. Very aggressive. <laughs> strong. Another combo big. When I say combo big, you had the ability to get it done on the block, mm -hmm. mid range, mm -hmm. and had some dribble with you. You know what I'm saying? Move, get up and down the court with the guards. Okay. The same advice I would give Sanat, I would give Tamia. Mm -hmm. What is she about? If she plan on going major. What you doing at six two on that block? Mm -hmm. I mean, realistically, develop them skills, develop a mid range, you make your get you a check. But the, as far as a dog, forget about it. I got one more, but after that, yeah. I'm gonna leave it alone. I mean, alone. you know, like six two, you know, that's a good size. You know, um, power five, you got to be like super athletic mm -hmm. to play on a block. Is she she's strong. Um, you know, I think she probably need to develop that mid-range game, you know, mm -hmm. putting the ball on the floor, getting to the basket. So I think time will tell as far as where she fall next, I mean, that next level, depending on, you know, what's coming to her um, as far as her recruitment. I don't really know how her recruitment is other than I know she got off to West Virginia, Hampton, and probably, uh, you know, most kids, some kids don't post their stuff. But, mm -hmm. you know, but she's an awesome player, real aggressive. What conference is West, West Virginia? Big, that's that Big 12. Yeah, Big 12. Would she be able to play on that block in a Big 12? That's what I'm saying. Like time will tell, you know. You know. So think about it. Like she got it real early. So mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of coaches will probably do stuff based off potential. Mm -hmm. And then and you know just think about it. West Virginia coach left yesterday. She was only oh. there for a year. Right? Oh wow. Yeah, because we got to play at West Virginia. So she's gone. So you know, now you got to reoffer. You know, so all that stuff coming to play because a new coach coming in. So that's just something that you know think about. So mm. wow. And one last one, and I'm going to ask these two young ladies who was their favorite female back player, so that gave you a little bit of time to do that. Um, have any of y'all seen Kennedy Harris? Okay, well, we're going to leave that one alone. Let's go back into that. Um, great player by the man, Hampton High School. Great player. Um, do y'all have a female? I know y'all said Kyrie was one of y'all favorite. It's, it's Kyrie and um, Iverson. Who's your favorite female player if you have one? Mm. Or that you watched? Zach Cook, Cook in her prom. All right. Who? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> y'all do everything together, right? Y'all just joined the hip. So let's just go ahead and say it. Y'all going to college together, so you're going to go first. So wherever you go, you go on Savannah? More than likely, yes. Are you serious? Oh, that's the game plan. Oh, so, that, so this is a package deal? It's been the game plan. Deal. They say at the hip, they mean that. Look. And it's been that. That's the thing. This ain't, this ain't just stopped. They've been playing since seven. Mm. It's been that. Yeah. Wow. Hey, man. Y'all got some big, y'all got a bright future. That's all I'm going to say. Nope. I've said enough. <laughs> I said enough. Um, Mom, I know you said you had some things you might want to address too. But don't forget about that question about y'all favorite uh, female player. Oh. I want to hear. Oh, yeah, they just did that. Yeah, they just did that. Yeah. It's getting late for me. Huh? It's getting late for me. It's getting late for Anytime me. I start doing that, it's... it's <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, you don't work at night, do you? Oh, I'm a truck driver. Oh, we... we, we, we <laughs> right. Yeah, we here. Yeah, we just we, answered we, that. We, oh, we, so we you here. too. Oh, <laughs> Look, Y'all yeah, feel we, my pain. We, say we, we the night guys over here. You know what I'm saying? No. But um, 
Um, oh, I can do one more. Ask y'all, but I know I meant to ask y'all. Um, Coach Wade, how do y'all feel about Coach Wade? Love him. Yeah, that's my Been guy for a minute. Oh yeah, I, that was the first person I played AAU with. I think I was in the fourth grade, fourth or third. Cause you was there, y'all was there together. Right? You was there with them. Yeah. Okay. And y'all and y'all know who he is, right? Yeah. Yeah. How y'all feel about him? Put him on the spot. How y'all feel about him? <laughs> he's quiet. Yeah, he's cool. Huh? He's quiet. He's cool. No. He's cool. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah. He's just yeah. cool. That's it. Y'all was playing with Wade, at, and I never. I don't think I ever played with the. 16 or 17? Yeah, I, I, I primarily coach, I mean, sat on the bench with Nala. I think me and Coach Mike coached Savannah mm -hmm. um, one year. And I got a Savannah story, too. So mm -hmm. Put that I'm, I'm putting her on the spot. Mm -hmm. So okay. we took over that team, seventh grade, went to live period. And and I, you were saying about Savannah. Savannah and me, I'm telling you, me and Coach Mike was on the bench. She has the quickest changes direction that I ever seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, ever. And I'm talking about this was seventh grade. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about no soft. Seventh grade? It was seventh grade. And me and Coach Mike will look at each other like, man, I mean, here, here. Right. Yeah, the you way she just yeah, can change direction, yeah. man, and just like. Yeah, so so we were, oh, Coach Mike was trying to get her to do a ball screen. Like, Savannah didn't couldn't do it, you know? But the thing is, she was so programmed to carry a team. It's like, that one, this one. I could do all that. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that was a learning. It was frustrating for her. I knew it was, because you just mm -hmm. see in her face, she was just like, man, I don't need this stuff. I don't need no ball screen. I'm good. <laughs> but. It's one of these lessons two years down the line, like you're gonna to have to use that ball screen going against these power five girls. Cause you know, when you'll be a smaller guard, you're gonna need that extra step to get off. Mm -hmm. So, but overall, like, you know, these two are, you know, really good talent. But I thought, I, I was thinking about that on the way over here, like when Savannah, she was like, man. And I, I remember talking to you and her afterward. I was just like, man, look, <laughs> I know you mad, but this ain't the all be all. You know, it's a learning experience. So that was my Savannah. And that's the thing for any dads that's out there training they their kids, yo. You might hit a moment where you you got to put training to the side and, and play daddy. Mm -hmm. A person that hit that peak and it's like you do things that be uncomfortable and it's like what is we used to do ball screens. It's like what is what is what's this? I'm what I need. I'm just gonna pop up, go back. You know. And you and you bump heads, man. You got to know how to balance that thing out. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and it always takes a village. It can't just be you. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to send them to different folks. You're gonna yeah, have yeah. to, and you're gonna have to play dad. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And that was one big thing I had to learn. Yeah, kind of fall back. I had to fall back. Man, it was yep. man. I had nights. I'm like, yo. But that's my baby girl. And I be I be damn if I let ball or anything get in between daddy daughter. Mm -hmm. I'm mean, gonna your daddy pissed you off. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we putting daddy on the spot right now. It was definitely during the summertime. Like when we used to have to be on the field and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we used to do the ladders and the parachute and run like miles and miles, like mm -hmm. have two a days. Mm -hmm. It used to be so frustrating. <laughs> and when I couldn't do moves, like he'll get on me about it, but it was all worth it at the end. So you would say between your mom and daddy, who's the hardest on you? Damn, you got to think about it. Both of them that bad? <laughs> nah, I can't say that. Look, 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 look you're going to get in trouble, right? I ain't trying to get you in trouble. Look, 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 all right, we're going to do this, right? Look, uh, all right. If you guys want to say you don't want to answer that, nah, I'm going to go to dialogue. Real. All right, all right. You plead so, the fifth? No, no, no. <laughs> nah, I'll plead the fifth. Okay, yeah, I'll plead the fifth. Nah, all right. You can't do that. Uh, you gotta be real, man. Vanna, we're gonna, we gonna pass you. Now, <laughs> who hard on your mama or your daddy? My dad. I, I, I knew that was. I, look, mm. I even met your mom, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, why your dad, you think he's so hard on you? Because I train with my dad on a daily. And, and he just be on you. Yeah, he expects more. Okay. Do you cool with that, though? Mm hmm. Okay. See how easy that was? <laughs> It's different subjects though. Oh, okay. Well, when we come, when we talk about ball, my dad is hard on me. But when we talk about like on the everyday, it's mm -hmm. my mom. It's your mom. Yeah. Okay. What? Anything y'all want to say or add? Yeah. Because oh, no. I know, because like I said, look, I'm gonna tell you. You know, when I met the mate, what I met you at the Armstrong game. Yeah. Yeah. And that. 20 point and she told me that y'all was better than Glenn Allen. I told her like she was crazy mm. and y'all won by 19. Like, so you just just knew that. Why did you think that you was going to beat them by double figures? Uh, it was just the mindset. 
Oh, so it had nothing to do with their talent. It was just, just you. You just knew that you was gonna beat them by that much. Yeah, I feel like we had the better guards and better bigs. So when you got yeah. it's two and zero, of course you are gonna come out on top. Not to feel like the way that we came out that game was so much energy, and they couldn't really do nothing about it. Because it was a two point game at halftime, right? It was like two or four points. It was real close. It was a close one. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But we were ready. I always. Look, we always come out. We usually come out in the second half. Just didn't happen. You know? I, I'm glad you came. Uh, you just opened the door. And just ain't happening. Just ain't happening. You know, see, you be here. Uh, you knew I was going with that. I was like, oh really? Uh, this is what we doing. Uh, we switch, but the any, other game, any other game, any other game, you would have come out better than the house. Yeah, we had a any like regardless of the game, you would have come out better than the house. Any like regardless of that game, aside of that, we come out like a lot better in the second half. Aside that game. So y'all would just sleep. Yeah, mm mm-hmm. We just switched it up that game. We had a great first half, but had a bad second half. But didn't y'all just hear her say that usually, usually, usually. (laughs) And so that day, I'm going to let y'all, look, until y'all win that chip, this is what's going to happen between me and y'all. When we see each other, we going to pound, we going to do all that other stuff like that. But I'm going to let y'all know, until y'all win that chip, look, we don't judge by regional championships around here, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) You know, Y'all know who Megan is, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I will probably say that she's the standard as far as what she's accomplished in the last 10 years around here. So in order to do that, y'all know what y'all got to do, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Y'all you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. Thomas Dale, I don't think they won no girl championship, right? Nah. Do y'all know what y'all would do for, for the community if y'all horsed up a couple of titles? Do y'all really know what y'all legendary – Thing was gonna be, mm. that's gonna be huge. Yeah, because I don't think Thomas Dale's won a ch- championship in anything since two thousand nine in football. Mm. So I'm just saying. I thought they won in twenty forty. In what? Uh-huh. Nah. Nah, nah, game. game. Nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> Good try though. <laughs> Good try. But no, nah, it was been fun, y'all. Um, anything y'all want to add before I get y'all out here? Because I need y'all to give me a schedule because I do want to come to the games and support. I told you know I told Lainey the same thing this morning. Give me a schedule and I'll try to get to a game because I like seeing talent. And we got some great talent in 804. And I'm just so glad that I see I'm sitting here with these two young ladies and their fathers and their former coaches. And, and you know, it's a beautiful thing because I just get so tired, you know, of – our area not being recognized, all the talent is always leaving our area. Mm-hmm. And we, you know, I'm just glad that we got something right here that we can call our own. And and it's a beautiful thing. Um, and I just want to look, I don't care. Y'all ain't gotta let me in the game for free. I paid my eight, nine, ten dollars to come see these girls play. They worth it. I'm sorry. So, but I will take a free. If y'all wanna let me in for free, man, I'm there that. But in case y'all don't. I'll pay my money to come see that. I'll, y'all give me some season tickets or something, you know, That's like right. that. These girls are the real deal. And if y'all haven't seen them, and I'm telling you, and y'all know how much I've been bragging them. Every, it's like every couple of days, your mama was sending me pictures. And then I was, and then what y'all won't put, I was posting on my um on my story. So, you know, I'm always support. So they probably say, yeah, he has always. But, uh-huh. And then, you know, they wouldn't let me have it that the season, you know, a couple of weeks ago. So we know... I'm planning on having a seat at the Seagull Center, right? Yes. Yes. Now, don't. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. No. I'm telling you. They're gonna go back to it. Mm. You you know people won't. You know how people, how they operate around here. Mm. You got to hold the title. These girls' confidence. You know what? I can't <laughs> say we got kids in here, ladies and gentlemen. I have right. a couple birds, but, but yeah. But um, anything y'all want to say before we get up out of here? Because I think I've covered everything on my list. Um. Everything on here. Anybody? Mm. They better watch out. Mm. They better watch out. Why they got to watch out? Got some killers on the loose. <laughs> <laughs> on the loose. Hey. You want to show your face for a little bit? Because he right behind us. Oh, come, come on over here. <laughs> and who is this young man? Yes, My Sage brother. Sage Dawson. Sage Dawson. Yes, sir. Savannah's okay. brother. Your son. Yeah. Going to be coming right up. He coming right up. How old are you? 11. 11. Yeah, he a bucket. He a bucket. Who you play for right now? Nobody. Nobody. No more, no. So how we gonna see you, man? Uh, 
High school, college, whatever. Oh, yeah? Middle school. Middle school. Middle school. What middle school middle you go to? Middle school is when it's really going to be turned. Uh, which uh, which uh, AAU teams you play for? Have it. Uh, yeah, just have it. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Tried out for Boo Williams, but, you know, that didn't turn out too well. <laughs> and he tried out two ages. Don't feel bad because it, was, it, it was, didn't turn out right for a lot of two people. Two ages up, though. He was okay. trying out for the third team. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he was trying out for the third team. Yeah, okay. six and seven. I think that's when I was going to fifth grade. So would you tell me, Mr. Sage Dawson, that, that we need it right now, you the future? Oh, no, you for quiet. Sure. Now I need you to say for it. Sure, I need to have sure. that same energy that you had over there. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Who better, you or your sister? Me. Oh, Call that. He said, <laughs> All right, oh. we're not about to talk about this. <laughs> hey, go back over there. <laughs> you sure? Mm-hmm. You know your sister gonna get you when you when she get off the set, right? She got have fun. <laughs> I love it family love but y'all man everybody make sure y'all tune in man I, like I said I, I know we got the best duo right here these girls say they gonna hold us some chips next year going forward and I'm gonna stand behind them on that so when they stand in front I'm just gonna be like this mm. you know so if y'all if, you know so I'm gonna be right there whether they win or lose um, Muhammad man um, I wanna say thank you bro um you know, for just me and you, it's like we clicked when we got that phone call, man, and we met at the game. And Keith, I'm just meeting you as well. I met you at the game too. And I, like I said, I appreciate y'all just giving me an opportunity to bring your daughters on here because y'all didn't have to do that. Um, like I tell people all the time, I don't primarily um, interview high school kids unless they unless they with the coach or with the parents. You know, that just but them being by themselves just right. I seem like a little hype boy or like some of these other programs that we got in Richmond that want to highlight. I'm not going to call no names because I'm not going to give them any airplay, but they know who they are. Um, not, not, there's a little shade there. But um, <laughs> but yeah, but I just want to wish you young ladies a hell of a summer, hmm. spring and summer session, and you know, and come back next year work twice as harder so that way I can have a seat you know, in March, you know, this month here and like said, hopefully next year when y'all come back we be talking about a championship. Hmm. That's a fact. Put y'all to it. Got you. That's work. Okay. Well, from Tim Morissette Media, from my man Sheen Johnson, Muhammad, Keith, Nala, and Savannah, this is Ballin' in V8. Make sure that y'all hit that like and subscribe button, and we out. I appreciate y'all watching the episode again today, y'all. You know, go over and make sure that y'all check out my man, rickstocker.com, for any of your home buying needs. Appreciate it. Thanks again.